So to do that, then you have to be clear on your values of what's important to you as an organization, who you are concerned about, and then challenge those constraints under which you're operating. Otherwise, you're going to stay in the same lane and you're not really going to redefine the game that you're playing. That's right. And, and so you're going back to this metaphor of triple crown leadership. What kind of leader leadership does it take to build something that's excellent, ethical and enduring? We developed from all that research and our own experience, and we did interviews with 61 organizations in 11 countries, Google, Spotify, you know, also, you know, all sorts of uh, Cisco, GE, you know, big, small, high-tech, low-tech, business, nonprofit. We developed five advanced leadership practices for how to do that. And one of the key ones is what we call the colors. And it's a horse racing metaphor for purpose, values, and vision. And, and so, you know, I think a lot of companies these days have a mission statement or a vision statement, but they do it very poorly. You know, they're very, you know, it's, it's, it's a paper exercise and they don't live up to it. And so if, if you do it that way, it's actually very dangerous because the people in your organization are going to see, we just wasted, you know, weekends at retreats, taught wordsmithing, you know, vision statement and values. And here I see my manager is time after time not living up to it and nobody is pushing back. And so it was all, and so they become very cynical. And so I think it's dangerous to even do that stuff unless you're committed to doing it really well. And, and the way to do it really well is to do it collaboratively, is to elicit shared purpose, shared values, shared vision. And, and that's another thing, by the way, a lot of people confuse these terms and they're not clear. Uh, and then you have to inculcate it into the culture of the whole enterprise, the division, your team, and connect people's personal purpose, values, and vision with the organization. And you have to communicate it over and over, and you have to have accountability mechanisms. And that's where we get into the fifth practice of aligning around these things. It starts with purpose, values, and vision, but then you have to align to it. 